Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to some more Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. We're gonna continue off right where we left off, and that was after completing the second case pretty much. So, Sherlock, uh, Sherlock, Sherlock, my name's Sherlock, this is Sherlock, can ask bystanders about a piece of evidence, press uh, the options button to open the casebook, pin the evidence with square, and then speak to someone. Try it now with the calling card. Okay, so uh, we want to talk to people about Salisbury's calling card, so let's ask around. It appears that the saltpeter explosion rattled the locals. Can't blame them for staying at home. No doubt, no doubt. This guy, is he taking a piss there or what's he doing? I don't know. May I ask for your assistance? Oh, you're fortunate. I will help you. Oh, will you now? The man usually wanders close to the dockyard. Okay, good to know. Do you know anything about this? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Alright, he usually wanders close to the dock. We can, uh... We can work with that for oh, now. Maybe we can ask the ba uh, the bar maid about it too. I've seen worse. Hello, my lady. Greetings, miss. I'm hoping you can help us. We shall soon see. Let's observe her first. Right off the bat, always want to observe these people, you know? Make sure they're not hiding something. She's pale with chapped lips, okay? She's got uh, a bit distended in the belly. Something with her hanky. Vomit stains, morning sickness. You pregnant? A little too tight, the trousers, okay. Tries hiding a pregnancy, unaware of a pregnancy. The barmaid is in the early stages of pregnancy, hence the slightly distended belly and hints of morning nausea. Chap lips and a pale face indicate a lack of proper nutrition, however. She tries hiding her swollen belly by wearing trousers that are too tight for her. She clearly has yet to know of her pregnancy as she keeps wearing her usual clothes, which are now too tight for her. I don't know. I feel like she would know if she's if she's already having morning sickness and everything. Should I tell her about the port I incident? I tell of a recent explosion in the port. What do you know of it? Ah, yes. Something exploded in the ship's cargo hold. Caused a terrible blaze. The sky was red with smoke till morning. Where precisely did it occur? The ship sank near the third pier, next to the dockyard. My colleague and I are seeking a burly man, above average height, with workman's boots. Half my customers, then. <laughs> Your description hardly narrows things down. Your clothes are already tight, and soon they won't fit at all. How far along are you? I... I thought I'd hidden it better. How did you know? Are you a doctor? In a I'm a detective! Speaking, he's not. He merely has the ego of one. <laughs> I apologize, miss. Mr. Holmes is fond of his observations, but I am the doctor here, not him. Do you need any help? I'm fine, thank you. I would rather not discuss my condition, nor let word of it spread. All right, let's provide evidence then. Um... Salisbury's calling card. Roy Salisbury. Roy Salisbury? Hmm. I know the name, but he is not one of my regulars. My guess is that he works somewhere around here. Okay. Good to know. The man can usually be found it's in the dockyard. It's a large harbor. If our kidnapper is hiding here, finding him won't be easy. I think we can manage. We got Kimihia's disappearance. And the character portrait of the barmaid now as well. But we'll keep the, the calling card out, because I think that is definitely going to be the one that... Uh, that benefits us the most. Hello, sir. You know anything you about this? To help me? No, sir. I've never heard of it. Never heard of it? It's a man you're talking about, sir. We have to find out who abducted Kimihia and where is Kimihia. Two separate objectives right now. All right. Anyone around here? You, ma'am? May I ask for your assistance? You're lucky to find me. Oh, she knows something. People say that Mr. Soulsby's may have gone to watch the ship that exploded yesterday near the third pier. Okay. We're getting places now. You just gotta ask everyone, you know? You gotta figure out what the hell's going on in this world. You gotta, you gotta ask and you ask and you ask. We're by the ship right now. The third pier is... I think it might be around the other side of this. Ma Dalton swears she saw ghosts in warehouse two. The, the haunted the house. New case, okay. Serious. I want to continue this one first while we're in the middle of this one, though. Well, that sounds interesting, the haunted house. The ghost of Navarone. I think this is the final pier down here. I could be wrong. Fine. Whoa, that guy just disappeared. <laughs> the ghost of Navarone. Hello, Seagull. Oh, there he is. That's for sure got to be him right there, right? I think 100%. What's this, though? Help, Gervish missing for a week. Please tell if you see him, ask they in Port Shantytown, Red Rat. Uh, red what? All right, this is the man we're looking for, 100%. Hello, sir. Not in the mood, mate. Shoo. Are you Roy Sonsby, sir? I am looking for Roy. Oh, not again. Yes, I'm Roy. 
but I can't help you find your uncle or whoever you've lost. Now what makes you think I would inquire about missing people? You are the fourth person to ask this week. Just because I work at the port doesn't mean I keep track of everyone who comes here. Hmm. Okay. Well, you say we are about not the, the first people. to ask you about a disappearance. Do you recall anything about those who came inquiring? Hmm. I only remember the foreign woman. I didn't catch her name, but those are her posters hanging up everywhere. She has badgered me twice now, but I still don't know nothing. And this woman can be found? Watson no in the clue. background. She was talking gibberish. May I ask what you're doing here? This is where the ship sank the other day. I'm trying to work out how we'll remove it. Let's observe him first off the bat. Always got to look a man in the eye and kind of observe him before you uh, do anything. Many stamp ink stains. HM Cuss. You got a hat. Five foot five. He's tiny. Average height, my ass. Mint solid gold. Walton pocket wash. Okay. Will be rich, rich. No muscle tone. He's not brawny. He's a thief. He's of English blood, around five foot five, and has an average build. His lack of muscle tone implies that he is hardly strong. His left palm bears several stamp ink stains. Some letters remain visible. H.M. Cuz. Apparently, Mr. Soulsby is the customs officer. He holds a brand new Waltham Hillside watch in his pocket. He can never afford such a thing, so he may have stolen it. We got a corrupt officer. Uh, same things before. He holds a brand new Waltham Hillside watch in his pocket. Only a corrupt customs offer officer can afford such a thing. I'm gonna say he's a thief. I don't know. I feel like if he was rich, he was a corrupt officer, if he was rich, he'd be looking a little bit better. You know, he looks a little bit worse for wear still. So I'm gonna go as a thief. Try that at least. See if that's the, uh, if that's the play. Let's provide some evidence here. Have you Soul's Beast calling before? card, baby. My card? Where did you dig that up? At a crime scene near Baker Street involving a young servant's kidnapping, I might add. I... I... No. Someone used it without my consent. How else would it end up there? How else indeed? That boat explosion stopped most traffic coming into the port. Guess I'll be without work for a while. I guess you will be I, eh? Please tell if you see him, ask Diane. Okay, so is that all we can do on, in regards to that one there? Let's do this one. It's author Daya lives in the port shanty town. A red rag hangs over her house's entrance. Okay. Good evening, Constable. I heard some people talking. Oh, this is the one with the ghosts. Okay, the hang on. <sighs> Came to a wrong spot. Gossip. Still, our right spot. An old lady neighbor saw some lights and ghostly shapes in the middle of the night. She heard music too. It turns out this was the warehouse of Grandpa Kujak. He owned a business with theater props for scary shows. I went in and, well, it is a bit creepy, but I think it was probably just some kids fooling around. Do you mind if I take a look inside? Not at all. It's like Madame Tussauds, only worse. I'll be on the beat round the pub for the rest of the night. Damn the explosion. Good night, sir. Thank you. All right, let's have a look then. Let's figure it out, eh? Did that do anything? Oh, okay. Definitely did An something. Effective contraption. It still works. It does, I. Okay, we got weird ass footprints here. In paint. No less. Neon, green phosphorus. neon paint? Use oh, it's phosphorus. Me. Okay, yeah. That makes more sense. Where is this going? Man was climbing the wall. <laughs> this man was climbing that shit like it's nothing. Alright, let's figure this out. Empty space, missing crates. Several crates are missing. Okay, and that's the only option for there anyway. No brand or markings. It looks like a bulk product. All right, good to know. Bottles of various shapes and sizes. I detect a mix of chemicals and aromas. Oh, what did that stop? What did that start, rather? A small cart left those tracks. I see, I see, I see. That's most likely the ghost the old lady saw through the window. This is the son bitch you saw. Inspired well. by the legend of Sleepy Hollow. The legend of Sleepy Hollow, eh? Okay, so the other thing was right here as well. Okay. 
Let's see. Uh, previous. Oh. I'm unmixing them, and then next is what? Just. Oh. <laughs> what? I'm gonna stick with the first one there. I feel like that second one's a little bit crazy, maybe? Alright, let's check out this one. I haven't seen this one yet. No, 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 come on. I'm not talking about the one over there. I'm talking about this one right here. Okay. Must have been right in the first place then. And print. They opened the casket and left marks. Are they right? They did. Blood, is it? A herbal odor with an ethylic base. Liquor? Okay, no, it's just liquor. There was a box in the coffin. It oh, was I actually moved. have to just Why do this. Okay. Um. What is this? Or. Oh, okay. Could make more sense. And what is this then? Okay, another little uh, contraption. I mean, I thought that much was clear. Oh, there's a leg here. Okay. Ah. Somebody had fun. I see, I see, I see, and I think that might. Ah, okay, that's gonna. Does that give us another option here? Does that give us the other option? Yes, okay. That makes more sense for sure. Okay, I feel like there's one more somewhere. Is there? Am I correct the mundo in saying this? Let's see, those track marks definitely don't line up, so that's clearly not it. So it's the previous one. And then I think that's pretty much it, you know, I don't know. Am I wrong? Oh, we can validate it now. I didn't see that before. It, it wasn't there before, I swear. Somebody played right. with phosphorus to give the illusion of ghosts or ectoplasm. In reality, they were here to mix a few ingredients and prepare a solution of some sort. Then they took a box hidden inside the casket. And they left through that gate with a small cart. Alright. Nailed it. Investigation scene completed. What does that mean now? Do I gotta... Do I just leave? Like, is that it? <laughs> There's a boot with green... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already know this. Their cart can be tracked. Ah, yes, okay, that makes sense. So let's go out and track that cart then, son. Do we see any cart tracks? Uh-huh, there we go. Which way did you go from here? Where did you go from here? I'm feeling this. Turn all the light down this way. All right, we're on to something. Uh-oh, here we go. What's that say? Dr. Tippett's electric pectobrain. Patent medicine of the future. This is a patent mm -hmm. medicine. A quick fix at an expensive price that drags the patient slowly into death. Right then. Is there a doctor? A man is very sick here. It sounds as though those people will need my help. Another case there with very sick people, but right now I don't have time for you guys. I'm looking for this stupid warehouse, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The coffin won't go away. And the doctor's too pricey. That's up, mate. Where are we? A field hospital. The cart from warehouse oh, two. Oh, there it is. Okay, we found it. We found the cart. Do you have something to do with it, sir? Potentially? He's very young. He's got a baby face. A tat. Oh, the phosphorus. Shit. Homemade medicine recipes. 
Man appears too young to have completed medical university and therefore can hardly claim his doctor title. His hands are stained by phosphorus, most likely from the props warehouse. He is carrying a book on homemade medicine. He is trying to make a quick buck by exploiting people's naivety, naivety and despair. Man appears too young to have completed medical studi uh, studies and therefore can hardly claim his doctor title. His hands are stained, yada, yada, yada. He is carrying a book on homemade medicine. He may have good intentions, but good intentions are a poor substitute for expertise. I'm gonna say self-taught here. I'm gonna say he's got good intentions. I don't know why, but good evening, I got a, a good, good feeling about this guy. The gentleman who sells that intriguing Pecto brain beverage. Good evening, gentlemen. I'm Dr. Thomas Tippett, and yes, it's proud inventor and purveyor. Are you a doctor? You seem remarkably young. <laughs> I'm self-educated. I help people in need around these parts with my medicine. Helping, as in bringing to the grave. That is unfair, sir. The virtues of my invention are to calm the nerves, to stop coughing due to the endless smog, and to help children to sleep. Has your beverage been tested? By your peers or any medical authority? I am a doctor, and it appears that you are playing with people's lives, people who place their trust in you to ease their pain. People need help, and drugs are expensive. My formula helps, and it's inexpensive. The product is dispensed from here only, so dose and usage are controlled. I looked into other patented medicines. They contain harmful or useless substrate, and they're sold in respected shops and pharmacies. Do you realize what you are doing? You are playing with people's health. You are a doctor. Take a look at my product. You won't find mercury, radium, lithium, or any other toxic substances drowned in alcohol and sold freely by so-called health professionals. I can show you how I work. Let me help people. Watson, what do you make of this situation? I, I'm not sure. Patent medicines can be a scourge, yes. But he is not entirely wrong in practice. Why the haunted warehouse? Well, nobody was using it, and people are afraid of ghosts. It kept them away until today. What I do mm. is not... That's what he's trying to do. ...legal, but I do help people. All right, fair enough. I believe you. About you, sir. I can hear the patient suffers with their lungs. Okay. The patient has a high temperature and is short of breath. How can I help? I could try and flag someone down. I don't know. What should we do about that situation? I don't know. <laughs> Can't do any more with it right now, at least. All right, we're in the shanty town now, I think. Are we? I don't know that we are, actually. Yeah, I think this is the shanty town. Do we need to look for a red rag? Above the house, above a house. For the, uh, for the right place. Oh, is that a red rag down there I see? That looks like it could be something. For sure. For sure, for sure. Is this your house, Daya? Hello, lad. Is this where I may find Daya? You read the poster? Yes? You know where my brother Girves is? Not yet. Sadly, no. Well, not yet. We'll find him. Don't you worry. Where did you last see Girves? He worked at a, um, warehouse. This man, Roy Solby, gave him the job. He paid him a ne a necklace. Uh-huh. We know what Solsby looks like. How would you describe this Solsby? He was big and strong. Huh? Um, he had a big scary eye. So that, scary, you say? That was not yes. him, then. Like, uh, like it was made of metal. Different guy then, huh? Do you still have the necklace that Soulsby gave to Gideves? Gideves left it near the um, shrine. I tried to sell it to buy Ama um, medicine, but but no one wanted to buy. Where's I want to Daya. Daya. Is she around? Ama, Daya. my mother. She got sick after the hot, the fire, big red smoke. She couldn't breathe, so I took her to the doctor. Now I am in charge. Okay. Don't go anywhere. All right, kiddo. Don't you worry. Ooh. Got a couple of things to find here. A couple pieces of evidence. Is that, uh, is that the boy we're I'm looking for? Get of this. Yes. Do you think he's okay? I bloody hope so, sir. And what is this? This cheap pen. 
Oop, didn't even mean to do that. What does that say? Learn about the missing Nepali brother, okay. Nepali boy's testimony. A boy of around 10 years of age resides in one of the port shanties. He looks to be from Nepal and is both exhausted and malnourished. His mother, Daya, is at the local clinic due to her falling sickness from incident fumes. The boy says that his brother, Gervish, disappeared after Roy Soulsby, a strong man with a metallic eye, hired him. That's just not the Roy that we met, for sure. What building is this, then? Hello, sir. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? I did not know that was you, Watson, my bad. Know anyone with a metallic eye, potentially? A man with a metallic eye. I've seen him, even. Dirty Summers is the name. A nasty lout with a silver ball in place. Dirty Summers, okay. So he's pretending to be Roy Soulsby, then? I shudder to ask, but where does one find a Dirty Summers? He likely signed on with a ship. I am not one to spy on others, let alone him. Hmm, I see. My advice, keep away from him. Thank you. Appreciate the advice. All right, what can we talk to her about? Uh, maybe the Nepal boy's testimony? What do you oh, know about this we can ask about... Uh, a foreign woman asked to put Daya. it up. She's plastered them all over the pool. Any clues as to her whereabouts? None. It was hard to understand what she was saying. Okay. So the only things we have access to right now are this mission, this part here. Oh, we can actually... Where is Kimihaya? Oh, we got two of them, right? Okay. Two of these are right. So Roy Soulsby's testimony might be the other one, potentially. There we go. Okay. Dirty Summers is the abductor. Seems that Roy Soulsby could be Summers' accomplice. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Where is Kimi here? We need to figure that out. The Ammonite Pendant. No, no, no. Roy Soulsby's testimony. The Barmaid's testimony. And then potentially... Kimi here's abductor? Together? No, okay. Making sure we couldn't figure it out now, there and now, but let's go talk to uh, Roy Soulsby at the dock. So we can actually turn in that, that fake doctor if we want to, or we can leave him go about his business. That's a tough one, honestly, I don't know. Is, is he doing more harm than good? It's a, it's, a, it's a question, for sure. There are signs of ghosts, lied, report Thomas Tippett. I'm gonna lie, I, I feel like he is trying his best. All right, let's just say there are signs of ghosts. Fuck Constable, it. I'm afraid we saw some troubling signs <laughs> unnatural even inside the warehouse. Dr. Watson here can confirm it, and he's a specialist. It would be best to stay away for now. Really? I'm 99% <laughs> sure that the ghosts don't exist, gentlemen. I won't report this to my colleagues after my shift. Some of them might be the naive sort who scare easy. I feel like that could have been a mistake. I hope I didn't make a mistake there, but the haunting house is completed. Let's go talk to that scumbag Roy now, because I need to, uh... I need to see what's up with him. Alright, hopefully he's still here now, because... If he's trying to run away on me, then we got problems. I'm assuming he'll probably still be here. I can see someone down there. I assume that's still him. Let's go confront him about this whole scenario, because, uh... Not good, buddy. Not looking good for you right now. What are you gawping at? I'm confronting you, pal. Mr. Soulsby, you know more than you're letting on. What makes you say that? I have some evidence here. What is the crime? Who is the criminal? Uh, okay, so the haunted house, nothing to do with it. Nepali boy's testimony. Yes, that is definitely something to do with it, I believe. Um, Soulsby's calling card. Is that going to have something to do with it? Found at the scene of... He is abductor. Okay, let's let's do this, okay? This one? How do I fit in all this? Sorry, you lost me there. Oh, really? Mr. Soulsby, oh. you know more than you're letting on. I thought that would what for sure be a that? part of it. I guess Kimi is a doctor. Dirty Summers was involved in some recent kidnappings across London. He used your name as a cover for his deeds. What? Really? That doesn't mean I'm involved, though. Eh, uh, kind of does, though, doesn't it? Um, what is Soulsby's connection to the crime? Okay, we need to figure this out here. Uh, Kimi here's a doctor is likely a sailor from the port of London. He is a bulky man wearing size 11 shoes with worn out soles. That's not it. Maybe this pendant here? Boulder Dash. No? Sorry, you lost me there. Damn it. His calling card? Your calling card was found I guess, at the crime yeah, there was at the crime scene. to make you a suspect. <laughs> you cannot be serious. I am. What is Soulsby's secret? Okay, uh, Soulsby's secret would be his character portrait? It's true. Okay. And that's before mentioning your gold watch. It's brand new and awfully expensive for a customs officer. Clearly, you have found yourself another source of income. I'm mm -hmm. sure Scotland Yard will be delighted Good to investigate further. All right, stop. 
Look, it's not as it seems. I did not partake in the kidnappings. I'm all ears, Mr. Soulsby. Yes, I know, Summers. He paid me to turn a blind eye to his business in the warehouse area. Just that, on my word. You did not tell me which warehouse he used? I do not recall, but I used red paint to mark unsupervised warehouses. Ought to be one of them. What else can you say of Summers? He is a regular at the Cursed Mermaid. Goes there with his crew almost every evening. What for? I don't know. I assumed just for a drink. Okay. Roy Soulsby's testimony. Dirty Summers is Kimi Hia's kidnapper. It seems that Roy Soulsby could be Summers' accomplice. Yes, we already know that much. Puts a man on edge, you know. Shouldn't that have gave us a new piece of evidence there that we're going looking for these warehouses with red paint? I mean, this one has red paint on it. Well, two has red paint, of course, but... I don't think it's that one because... Unless it is? I mean, it could be, potentially. That's the only one with red paint on it, but... I mean, we already did a mission in there. That's why I don't think it would be that one, but... Maybe that's all the ro more reason it would be. No, we can't even go in there now, so... Let's just try the other mission for now, because it doesn't seem like that... I don't know, it doesn't seem like that's loaded right or something, because... I've checked all the warehouses. The only one with the red paint on it is two, and there's no way in. All right, let's just talk to these sick people here. I start up this one and talk to the sick people, just because I don't know if that quest is if I'm doing something wrong or what the story is, but we'll see anyway. Let's talk Hello, to these people. This is Dr. Watson. We'll take a look at your friend. Oh, this guy right here? Yeah, looks super dead. I'm gonna lie to you. His boot is there? Freshly dug up treasures, it seems. Everything ends up in a river. It's the a water has a curious whitish tinge to it. Calm down, sir. The subject is hyperventilating. He has a pale face and dilated pupils. All right. Show me that. Decolorized skin, initial stages of oh, necrosis. Decolorized skin, necrosis. What do you make of this, Doctor? All signs point towards acute poisoning. It could possibly be due to chemicals. I won't jump to any conclusions yet. I hope it's not because of that other doctor. So what now do I do? Do I talk to you guys still Excuse or me, what? Just one question. I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Oh, okay. Sick mudlark. Examination of a mudlark reveals signs of poisoning by hazardous substances contained in the water. Better to look for the source of contamination upstream. Ah, okay. Let's do that then. Upstream. Which way is upstream? I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna bank on it being this way. Oh, well, it's not that way. <laughs> Definitely not that way. But maybe let's try the other way first and then we'll see. Mudlarks are visibly unwell. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's that dead dog. For God's Ooh, sake. Sir, it's been decomposing for weeks. If this were the origin of the disease, it would have started sooner than a few days ago. Well, at least it plays into the story somehow, but that makes it worse for me, honestly. Mudlarks are visibly unwell. Alright, and then this here is, is the other thing. The dead dog didn't. Uh, this might be it. A pile it. of rotten food. It carries danger, but not of the kind that we witnessed. Okay, so that's not it either. The waterway goes under the buildings. We need to find other open sections in order to continue our search. Ah, okay. Could that be it? This pipe disposes of wastewater from a factory, a possible culprit, but would likely have caused trouble a long time ago. Moving on. Moving on. All right. That's clearly not it either then. Anything right on this side of things? Oh. Gonna be the same thing, I think. Human waste. Despite looking fairly hazardous, I doubt it could cause such acute poisoning. Okay. I can't see any other major source of contamination in this section of the waterway. Perhaps another place. All right, let's go further up then. So this is like all going into their water that they're drinking. That's kind of disturbing, you know? Really disturbing, actually. The river kind of bends back this way and comes down here, is it? Yes. Oh, Lord, dead fish everywhere here. That's not a good sign, is it? I mean, that's bound to be the issue, isn't it? Yes, sir. This is definitely it. Phenol. A dangerous substance often used as a sanitizer coming from spade chemicals. 
Indeed. Brian, never load this trolley with more than half the weight of Danny Nutcracker or 200 pounds at a time. She did the Mexican flamingo with Joshua and the poor thing is not running well since. The trolley that is, Joshua broke long ago. Also, the ship from Barbados asked for one ton of fennel, so let's hurry up. Tried to cut corners. Scumbag tried to cut corners, man. You can't do that. You can't do that. Oh, okay. I swear I thought I tried to do that the before. The fish's scales have decolorized. What a disaster. A disaster indeed. All right, let's figure this out then. So there's tracks here. Fell sideways under the weight pressure. Broken through by force recently. A recent cart crash. Great. Okay then. A recent cart crash. Okay, so the cart accident, we gotta figure this out. We can talk to people. We can find somewhere on the map. All right, let's ask him about the card accident, can potentially. Can I ask you a question? I think I can help Oh, you. he can help us. The Spade Chemicals building is located at Warehouse 5. Okay, so Warehouse 5 is the one we're looking for. This is Warehouse 10. We're looking for 5. Oh, here it is. Okay. Barrels of phenol from your company ended up in the canal. It has poisoned people. You will need to clean it up properly. Otherwise, we will inform the authorities. What the? We will call the cleaning brigade immediately. I hope this can stay between us. We'll see about that. Mudlarks are still waiting for instruction. Okay. So we gotta go talk to them now, maybe? I feel like they have a right to know, right? I feel like we should tell them. I don't know. It feels messed up if we don't tell them. Guys, I got some news for you. Gentlemen, the doctor here and I have found the source of the contamination. Spade chemicals will take care of it. That's, that's pretty good news. But how long will it take? And what about a friend? Will someone pay for his treatment? Pressurize the company. But for now, get rid of the stained clothes and rinse any phenol-affected skin. No one else should touch the canal today. Thank you. We'll do that. Let's go to the cheap doctor for help. The cheap doctor. We know who that is. See, it's a good thing we didn't turn him in. They wouldn't have been able to go to him otherwise. <laughs> so that's good. All right. Case completed. Awesome. Now, Kimi, he is an abductor. Let's try figure this thing out, because I really don't know right now. Plague Doctor. Sick! <laughs> that outfit's sick, boys. Yeah, we saw 12 there. It's locked. Is there a way to potentially get a key or something? Could you help me? Oh, sorry, I know nothing. Maybe there's a way to get it unlocked. I don't know. I can confront her? Why do I have the feeling that you know more about Dirty oh. Summers than you're letting on? I have nothing more to add, sir. Uh-oh. We can confront her about something. Okay, what? I don't even know what it would be. Oh, because he frequents the... He frequents the pub. I failed to follow. No, okay, well that... finished. I have glasses to wash. Never mind that. That's definitely not it. Feeling Is it definitely what... About dirty do we definitely have evidence for this? Enough. Oh, okay. I have hard evidence the fact that, that Summers, Summers was involved. involved in recent kidnappings across London. Right. I'm not surprised. But what so does that have to do with her, though? I don't understand. What does that have to do with her? Mr. Soulsby claims the foreign woman repeatedly asked him about the disappearance. Maybe the, f the second part is Roy Soulsby's testimony? Oh, okay, officer, because he frequented it. testified that Summers was a regular here. Yeah, okay. You must know something about his business. All I know is his drinks order. Okay, and then the last part of the puzzle, what is the bartender's secret? Oh, the fact that she's pregnant, of course. If the lives of the missing do not concern you, then I would urge you to think about your unborn child. Are you threatening me? Yes. Perish the thought. Nothing of the sort, but that doesn't mean that there won't be consequences for your silence. Everyone knows you happily served Summers and his crew. Should the police come knocking, you'll be the one going away. And none of us wish to see you raise a child behind bars. Now, spare yourself the trouble and tell me all you know. Damn. Okay, okay. Summers hired my private room. I think he used it to recruit people, but I haven't seen him in a few days. He paid me cash, so I paid him no attention. Nor did I touch anything inside. Here's the key. Go and do what you will. Just leave me out of it. All right. Okay. Rusty key. Investigation scene found. Let's go, baby. Tickets to Oakmont, Massachusetts is still available. Oh, it's here. Okay. I was confused. I didn't see an option to open that door. That's why I was confused. Hairs on the back of my neck stood up. Is it a painting? 
Strong men needed for moving crates and warehouse area. Okay. Got a few coins here and there. Five shillings. That won't go far. It won't. All right, what about this? Fresh scratches deeply carved. Strange symbols. I don't recognize them. Strong men needed for moving crates in the warehouse area? The job is to move crates. Yes. Okay. I got that much. Thank you. Oh, there's a little note here behind. Behind his dinner. The Parker and Williams Co. Invoice number uh, 012B, yada yada, high quality sale cloak, quantity 50 crates. Okay, invoice for the sale cloth. Investigation scene has been completed. Where is Kimmy here? Okay, we're, we're gonna find out where he is actually. That's the uh, most important part. And Roy Soulsby's testimony. What's this last part? Invoice for sale cloth. Is that everything? Ooh, okay. This one is the uh, hiring notice, I think. Right? Maybe it's the strange symbols? No, nope. hiring notice, okay. In a warehouse holding sails and marked with red paint. Dirty Summers has hired men for warehouse work specifically to carry crates of uh, sailcloth. The abductees could still be inside the warehouse which should be marked with red paint. So I think we know where we're going now. Um, I think that we're going to that number 12 warehouse, right? That, I think that makes the most sense, 100%. We got to unlock a new hat here? Oh, shit. <laughs> The Plague Doctor act. I gotta wear this for a little bit at least. This is dope as hell. Alright, let's uh... I mean, let's ask the barmaid about it first because she might have some insight on it. Uh, I'm not sure. Provide some evidence for her. Um, what a hiring you see notice. Look at us. <laughs> he was recruiting We look so dumb, dude. It was like the whole world came I need to take that off door. ASAP. People of all creeds and colors, but always strong. Always tall. They seem like workers or journeymen. Beyond that, there's not much more to tell. I took his money and let him be. And this lasted how long? Several weeks, I wager. Okay, fair enough. I'm going for a new outfit, boys. Cordona suits on, let's go. All right, so warehouse number 12 should be back out here somewhere. I can't remember exactly where it was, to be honest. I think it was somewhere maybe down here. Yeah, there it is. This has got to be the place. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to open it now. Yes, I am. Okay, awesome. We can pick the lock. We couldn't pick the lock before. Okay. Oh, okay. Do we have to get them all level? Is that it? There we go. Nailed it! Boom shakalaka! That's an interesting pick lock mechanic, actually. I haven't really seen anything really like that before. This ought to be beneath you. As my brother would say, it is for the greater good. The greater good! Got blood, blood soaked. Are these blood soaked or is that a substance? It's hard to tell. Good quality, but torn in many spots. Yes, yes. Mold. That's why you don't leave sailcloth lying out. Come on, guys. Don't let your shit mold, okay? Got some. some cart tracks here. Dried mud, Port of London soil. Okay. What is this, a crowbar? There are a couple of marks on this end. Yes, yes there was. And the open window is the last part of the puzzle, last the piece of the puzzle. Fresh, left by something metallic. Okay, big breakthrough. Find out how the intruder got into the warehouse. There you go. I found out, son. Kimmy here's abductor is likely a sailor from the Port of London. Yeah, 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 I, I know that already. Yeah, they could still be inside here somewhere. I don't see him yet, but this I think they probably left by now. Use. What about this? The layers of rust will prevent any movement. Right, let's check upstairs. Ought to be some shit going on up here. It's stuck. No one's used it in a very long time. Okay. What about this one? Is this one stuck? And not used in a very long time? That's the question. I see a handprint over there. Okay. Never mind then. Fit for a crank. Okay, so we can use the crank from, from the other one on this one, I guess, right? It's take stuck. that out. No one's used it in a very long time. I can't take it out then? I can't do it with my bare hands. Yeah, I know that much, meat. Oh, there was a crank right here, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What am I talking about? That's what that was. I bloody forgot about that. All right. Let's crank it up, son. 
If you know, crank it up. You've got to crank it up. Did that do anything for us? We can go under there now, so... That's a positive, at least. Go on, Sherlock. Look at those... Look at those moves. Just as I expected. All right. Underground passage. You cannot return after leaving. Be sure to finish everything you want to do here. I think we did. We completed both the side missions we got. I'll scout the premises. Will do. Be careful down there. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Sir Watson. Yeah, I think we completed both the, uh... Both the side quests that we got there. Nothing, uh... Nothing extra to do. Wait. Well, that's not good. What's happening? Don't worry about it, Sherlock. Everything's okay, baby. <laughs> this man dying? Like, what's happening? Hello? Are we in a dream state right now, I guess? What is this place? Where am I? Great question, Sherlock. Strangely cold. Something is missing. Okay. Do we have something to put in there? This cannot have been under the port of London all along. Is it an illusion? The only way forward is the, the abyss. The only way forward is the abyss. Hmm. Jump off? Is that what you're telling me? Jump off? Does that, did that bring us forward? Phew. I think it didn't. I, I didn't think it did, yeah, okay. And we got the piece that we needed, okay. It is icy cold and pulsating. Uh-huh. Oh, I gotta jump down again? <gasps> Now that we have the piece, we can put it in here and hopefully progress. My this is strange, boys. I was not expecting anything like this. Put it in. That's what she said. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Short strides, boot prints, Kiarnik. Okay. Okay, we gotta go short strides? Is that what you're telling me? Come on, come on. Please. No! Damn it, I was so close. Okay, I think I know what to do. We can't run. We gotta walk briskly the whole way there, quickly. You gotta walk quickly. Are we just murdering people there that are in those cages? In our mind? Like, I don't know. Seems like it. If I start running, it, it, it shuts real quick. So you gotta get in there quick, Sherlock. Come on! Woo! Now I am somewhere else. How? It's harder to breathe here. I hear like a dragon or some shit. What the hell? That doesn't sound good. Gotta be honest with you. It's like it stares right through me. Okay. How do I get over there? Jump into a, the abyss again? Will that bring me somewhere to... Get something? No? Okay. Well, that was pretty useless then. Maybe jump in here. What oh. is that? Jesus Lord. Oh, no. I had to. Unspeakably revolting. <laughs> what the fuck is happening right now, dude? This is so weird. Hello? Oh, we can get across from this side. I see. Into the starry night out there. Like, watch. It goes down. All the way around. As if, like, here now I should jump off. That's what it feels like, right? Feels like I have to get it exactly in place. Oh, there's another way up here. I'm stupid, okay. Does it have to click into place? Is that what it has to do? I see. Yes, yeah, so we have to stand on this. 
Aha. I see, I see, I see. Together we made it. So what the heck? <laughs> the door is locked, sir. Oh. Okay, we have to look at it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Put it down. Turn around, go in. There we go. That's that so creepy. Spinning. When will this end? Oh, we got two of these there now. Jesus Lord. Recesses. Okay. This is not easy, boys. Let me tell you. All right. So am I supposed to go through some of these doors? Just try random ones. All right. Let's try this one first, I guess. Is there a specific right oh, door to head. go through because of the symbols? What just happened? I don't know, but that wasn't the right door, clearly. Try this one. Or is this the same one, but it's an illusion? Wait, what the fuck? Okay. Gotta be something to the patterns. Do they all have the same pattern? Seems like, yes, they do all have the same pattern, so maybe there isn't something to it. Wait. Oh, shit, wait. Size 9, clear edges, bugna fafis. Right, okay. I don't know what that means, mate. This is open, though. This is open, but it's not open at the same time. Oh, wait. Another one? This one's going this way, though. Size 9 boot prints, and then it's just, like, gibberish. Try go Ah, oh, shit. Okay, hang on. Uh-huh. Ugh, the stench. Whoa, what the fuck just happened? Oh! Got one! Let's go, boys. Yeah, take it. The almost left this behind stone. there. It almost feels alive. Almost. Alright, we're out of here. That was cool. That was pretty cool. So maybe that other one then is something similar to what we just did, this one here. I'm facing this way. Stop here. Oh, now it's opening. Oh shit, okay. You're walking slowly down there, you get it, I see. Oh, that's just truly revolting. It really is horrible. What the hell's going on here? Frozen right. and we got frozen another one though, and that should like be that. A heart. The fuck is going on there though? That's creepy as all hell. All right. What in the world? This whole area is so creepy. Oh, I can walk onto it though. Oh no, what the, what the fuck? Okay, well, do I have to go in a specific order? How the fuck are you supposed to do that? <laughs> okay, wait. There's a specific way. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This thing here. <laughs> I was like, there's no way I could do this. All right. Sometimes it's not the obvious thing. All right, Sherlock, let's see what you got here, buddy. Am I... Did I get out? I don't think so. <laughs> I definitely don't think so. Ugh. John? What is it, Holmes? What the fuck? Shit, we're playing as Watson? No way! That's awesome. <laughs> That's dope as hell. Watson? Holmes, where are you? Use your something with your lantern. Use L2. I am. I feel like I am using L2. Oh, there you are. Sherlock, everything's okay, buddy. Holmes. Holmes. Are you all right? Uh, fine. Watson, um, I, I, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Fine? By Jove, you should have heard the way you called out my name. It was just a game of shadows. I'm glad. This place gives me the chills. What are we dealing with? Too much. That's what we're dealing with. Too Something goddamn much. That's finally interesting. 
Interesting indeed, huh? Interesting indeed. Who was the dead man on the altar? We don't have enough uh, information for that, I don't think, do we? I don't think we've even seen the dead man on the altar, really. Let's look at let's look at him. Broken nails, dried mad crumbs, mud crumbs, mad crumbs. There's mad crumbs there, bro. Needle prick. A bit harsh. Jesus, man. Cyanosis of the lips, marks on the neck. This man was strangled. On his stomach. His there. abdomen is severely bloated. Okay, unknown man on the altar. We gotta figure out who this man is. Is that us? Did you hear that, Watson? I, uh, I hear you. Okay, yeah, strangling him. Well, one other guy's here. What was the other one, though? That's the only one available right now, okay. An American passport, Amos Colby. Amos Colby, all right, son. Northwood Agency, any manner of discreet investigations for you, we shall search the world. 154 Pennsylvania Lane, Boston, Massachusetts. All right. We did, wasn't that at the start we saw some shit about Massachusetts as well? I've never seen a pattern a knife. like this before. And the tip Old of the knife is uh, covered in blood. Always nice. At least two dozen pendants, all identical. Oh shit! And no Those are the pendants that we, uh, the Nepali kid gave us, right? Oh, there's a part on the back of this. Someone got their hands dirty painting this with blood. Ugh. Given name: Amos Colby. Red hair, brown eyes. April twentieth. The back of the passport features a bloody drawing and vaguely depicts a sea creature, perhaps an octopus. Okay. The hell's this thing? God knows, mate. God knows. This box contained a narcotic substance, much like the one in Kimihia's brazier. Black Edelweiss Institute established 17-something. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. It seems made for simple experiments. I wager they could not afford a better set. Probably so. All right, anything else around here? Mud, intentional, drawing. Someone used mud to draw a cross in a rectangle. Why? Blood, human hair, ugh. Then we got the clothes. These clothes were crudely cut off someone. An American, judging by the style. Here's a rope. Fine rope work. Cut by a finer blade. That blade over there, potentially. Okay. Good to know. Oh, uh, let's see. This one here. There's no one else in this one, though. Go with this one, I think. All right, that's another one down. Oh, potent! This sensor has more narcotic residues. What on earth? It looks like the scribbling of madmen. Oh, there's another one here. Okay. <laughs> Is there multiple? It's hard to tell if there was multiple or not, really. I'm gonna say yes, because there's multiple beds. So I'm gonna say yes, there was multiple. Got some blood? A Crack small thing? blood stain. 
but not serious. Scratches, bloodstain, torn fingernail. Deep scratches left in a frenzy. And this is broken as well. The strength it would take to carry this crate, let alone break it. Well, a couple strong men. Quite a few men, maybe. More than one. Alright, there's only one more after this now. Might as well go through with it. Okay, it's either that or... This. If there's scratches on it, it would kind of incline for me to believe that... Yes, there was someone in there, right? Was this the last part, maybe? Mass produced. Anything? Where's the last one? Here. Okay. There we go. We got some clothes. These clothes are missing buttons. They were forcefully removed. Okay, so it's Dumbra, separate clothing. A staple of Lepchermen's attire in Nepal. Okay. Gathered from dozens of people, at the very least. I see, and this is where the last part of it is. Let's validate this and see. Could be wrong. This one's wrong. Okay. I figured that one. I wasn't sure on that one, but the rest of them, I'm fairly certain on. Okay. Many there we go. Were brought to this place. Their abductors stripped off their clothes and discarded them in a pile. The prisoners were kept in a soporific trance by the use of narcotics. A few tried to resist, but alas, in vain. After a few days, everyone was stuffed in a crate and sent elsewhere. Only one captive was left behind. He was strangled to death on this altar. Dark. What the hell is happening, Holmes? Calm yourself. Cannot uh. be. Uh. What is it? Oh my god. Get out of there, boys. Just get out of there, please, for the love of God. <laughs> That is disgusting. Please tell me we found all we needed to, Holmes. I think we found a bit more than that. Yet we have no clue as to where those people have been taken. And that's where you're wrong, Watson. We have more than enough. I just need to connect the dots. How about you pack your suitcase in the meantime, my dear fellow? Just in case. All right, investigation scene completed. There you go, beautifully done. We've done everything we needed to do for now, at least. Who is the dead man on the altar? We don't know that yet. Or can we decipher this now? I'm not sure. Okay, so we got two of them, right? The passport, potentially. There we go. Okay, nailed it. Amos Colby from the Northwood Ag Agency. There we go. That's the man who was dead on the altar. Where have the abducted been sent to? That's another question. Yo, nailed it on the first try. Black Andalus Institute in Switzerland. Are we heading to Switzerland, boys? Holy moly, we nailed that. That was awesome. Abductor's route, yes. Sure, but let's uh, let's save the game first off. Let's save the game. I feel like that's a good place to end, guys. That was awesome. We got a lot done in that video, I feel like, and uh, I had a blast with it. So I hope you guys did enjoy that as well. Make sure to drop a like if you did. And it's the best way to let me know you enjoy the content. So thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. It's been my distinct pleasure to serve you all. Peace out.